Good morning, friends. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to week five, week five of the St. Mark's Summer Kids Club. I hope that you've had a chance to open your new bags that came this week. Maybe try on your t-shirt, as you can see. I've got mine on <laughs> today too. Anyway, lots of good stuff in there. Just remember, this is very important, be sure to wait for each week's video to open that week's package, okay? I think you guys know the drill by now. Hey friends, today we are starting a brand new story from the Bible. And I can't wait to share this one with you. It is honestly one of my favorite stories in the whole Bible. It's one of the most exciting, amazing stories I've ever heard. And it's full of adventure and important lessons and just amazing things to share with you. I'm really excited to bring a piece of this story to you each week in these videos. Our story is about a man named Jonah. Jonah lived long ago, long before your parents or your grandparents or your great grandparents were ever born. Jonah belonged to God's special people, Israel, and Jonah had a very, very special job. He was a prophet. Now, you may be wondering, what exactly is a prophet? Well, a prophet is someone who passes along an important message from God to the people that God wants to talk to. It's that simple. Uh, I wonder if your mom or dad or maybe a teacher has ever given you a special message to pass along to someone. If so, you have done the work of a prophet. You probably listened very carefully to the message and then you shared that message with someone else. Or to put it another way, think about it like this. A prophet is kind of like the person who delivers the mail to your house. It is the mail person's special job to bring you all the messages, the cards, the letters that other people have sent to you so that you can read them. Now, the mail person did not write you your birthday card. Your grandmother did. They were just passing it along to you on her behalf making sure that it got to your door. That's what a prophet does. A prophet makes sure that God's people receive all of God's important messages. So, at the beginning of our story, it says the word of the Lord came to Jonah. Wow! That means that God had a special message for Jonah to deliver. Now, we don't know exactly how God got Jonah's attention. Did God just shout, Hey, Jonah, I've got a message for you. Maybe, or maybe not. Sometimes we hear with, with these ears, and sometimes we hear with the ears of our hearts. But we do know that somehow Jonah knew exactly what God wanted him to do. Go to the great city of Nineveh, God said. I want you to bring a special message to the people there because they do not know me. Wow, okay. God's message sounds really, really important. And he chose Jonah to carry it. That is really cool. Hmm, I wonder what Jonah will do. This adventure is just beginning, friends. There is so much more to tell. But that's all for now. Next week, I'll tell you what happened after Jonah heard from God. It's time to pray together now, friends. We're going to talk to God, and God wants us to make our hearts quiet so that we can listen for his voice. Are you ready to pray with me? Can you repeat after me? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the story of Jonah. 
Help us to hear your voice whenever you speak to us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, my friends, it is time to open the pack marked week five and do today's activity. I really hope that you enjoy it. Be sure to send in some pictures or post a short video on our Flipgrid page if you would like to share what you end up doing today, okay? Sound good? All right. More story, uh, more uh, of the story of Jonah is coming your way next week. So be looking forward to that, friends. In the meantime, have a great week. Goodbye.